I chose to do my externship at a bakery this year um, because I'm a culinary teacher and I wanted to brush up on my baking skills because that is not my forte and my seniors, my senior level class does a lot of baking. When I got here at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., we would get the pastries for the morning rush ready. So that would consist of um, pastry rolls that would, would turn into fruit-filled pastries. We would also do pigs in a blanket, if you will, for Texas. So it would be a sausage rolled pastry uh, dough. Um, and then they would also do special orders for people as well. So I actually learned more than I thought I would. It wasn't just about pastries. It was more business aspects of running a bakery, uh, which I'll talk to my students about in class as well. My senior level students, they also talk about um, running businesses, um, not just about the cooking and baking aspects, but uh, financial aspects of running their own business, uh, costing of ingredients, how to cut costs so that you make more money in the long run. Um, so we talked about that a little bit this week as well, which will actually benefit them. And I will even use some of the recipes that I learned this week. I'll have my students cost some of those recipes out to see if maybe they can find ways to cut costs as well. So I learned more than I thought I would, which is a great thing. My favorite part was getting to work with a former teacher who owns the bakery, so she understood where I was coming from. And she also was a great teacher for me because she knows how to teach as well. And so she knew how to incorporate some of the elements that I wanted to learn into translating that back into my students' learning. Externships kind of keep us up to date on what's happening in our industry currently. Um, because you get out there, you experience the real world again. Things change all the time in the industry. There's new techniques to learn and experience where well, we can take those back to our students, therefore teach them what's expected in the industry, maybe what's updated in the industry. My kids, some of them work in the industry already, so they kind of know what it's like. Some of them have no clue. <laughs> so to kind of brush up on my real world, real world, we say, industry skills. Um, I think it's really imperative to keep up with that so that it translates back to them because they, some of them, like I said, they have no clue what they're getting into. So to take those real life experiences and be able to give them stories to relate to, I really feel it benefits them more so than me just talking about, you know, the A, B, C's and D's of Here's why we do what we do. I can give them, you know, here's what I did in the kitchen when I trained you guys. It's not just getting in the kitchen and, and cooking. It's so much more than that. Um, and, and so until I have those experiences and can tell the kids about them, they're not going to relate to that, I guess. Me coming out here and doing this I feel like is trying to bridge the gap between the kids who know what they're doing and the kids who just don't know what they're getting into.